That's me! I'm Charlotte, resident beauty of Wendell. I am Reese. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Persecuted by humankind, beastmen were forced to live a life of seclusion in the dark woods of Duskmoon Forest. Only one managed to stand up against the oppression. He became king. Under his rule, the beastmen banded together and created the kingdom of Ferolia. There, he and his kin waited for a chance to get revenge on the humans who drove them into hiding. <laughs> well, 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 isn't his furry majesty himself? How do you do this fine, fine night? <sighs> Finally, the time is upon us, sire. With the coming shift to the world's mana power, now's the perfect opportunity for what? For us all to get back at those nasty humans. <laughs> Do I know you? Goals are the same, for I hate humankind as much as you do. May I offer you some unsolicited help? Tch. Outsiders and help are unwelcome. Freak off! <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'll leave, but if you change your mind, my dark spell. Are always at your service. <laughs> Wait. I'll give you one chance. Oh, I shan't waste it. Now then, tell me what you would have me do, and consider it done. Your Majesty. <laughs> Kevin was the one and only son of Ferolia's king. The young boy's human mother had long since abandoned her half-blood child, leaving him to be raised in the forest by the Beastmen. Due to his Spartan upbringing, Kevin never connected with others. He was raised as his father's successor and trained to fight from infancy, leaving little time for friendships. One night, the young prince came across a slain mother wolf and her living pup, Carl. Finding a true friend in the affectionate wolf, the boy's frozen heart began to thaw. Hey, sleep good? Huh? Carl? What's that yip, Carl? Tiny, but still a wolf. Don't bark like a dog. Here, howl. Like this. Uh, we're alike. You and me. A little wolf who acts like a dog. A beast man with human blood in my veins. And. Neither of us have a mom. Don't worry. 
Carl. Got you. And I'll protect you. Since your mom can't now. What's wrong? No, Carl. Can't fight you. Won't fight you. How did this happen? Unable to resist his beast man instincts, the boy transformed and attacked his only friend. Kevin made a grave by the flower patch they'd often visited. Racked with guilt, there he wept for his lost friend. So... So sorry, Carl. I'm sorry. Afterwards, Kevin didn't know how long he wandered the forest. Eventually, however, he made it back to the palace. But nothing was the same. Carl, I couldn't protect my friend. I couldn't stop myself. Beast man blood awakened. Why did I transform? Why? Why now? King might know something. King, the Beastmen forces are hereby sent out to take over human settlements. 
Our first target is the holy city, Wendell. Yes, sir! Now's our chance to pay back the humans for what they've done. Once we take their precious holy city, we'll have already dealt a serious blow to those weaklings. They'll be shaking in their boots. Yeah! <laughs> Listen up, Kevin. We'll be taking Jad, then it's straight to Wendell. You hear that, Princeling? <laughs> Your old man picked me to lead the Beastmen to victory. He trusts me with his invasion plan, not you. How does it feel to be a waste of space, huh? <laughs> I hear something through the wall. I know that voice. Hmm. Well done, Cormand. <laughs> it's an honor to fulfill the wishes of the king. Tell me, were you impressed by my dark magic then? <laughs> Corrupting the will of a tiny pup to attack my son is child's play. No matter. It induced Kevin's transformation as planned. With no more attachments to keep him from training, my son will become a weapon. I have no more need of you. Leave. Wait, what? Uh, be reasonable, your majesty. It. Shut up! Foolish boy, know your place! You called yourself Death Devourer, did you not? Oh, yes indeed, your majesty. <laughs> I leave my son to you. Understood, sire.
Give him back! Give him back! <laughs> oh, oh, spare me! I was merely following his majesty, the king of Ferolia's orders. Ah, ah, wait, 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 wait. I've come to you with an offer. Wouldn't you like to know how to bring your little Carl back to life? Listen, Ferolian forces are on their way to Windle as we speak. You need to find the Priest of Light who lives there. Why? Because he knows how to bring back the dead. You lie! Oh, now does this look like the face of a liar? You cannot wait! Luger's guards have already left. If you dally, they may do away before you arrive. Where's Wendell? Where? <laughs> it's this way, your highness. Now, you must make for Mintus. It's just outside the Dusk Moon Forest. And from there, you can cross the sea to the city of Jad. Windle is quite close to that location. Hmm? So don't dock it, or Ludger will have complete control of Windle before you even arrive. Understand? Try to stay out of sight, okay? In fact, I shouldn't be seen here with you either. I'll take my leave. Goodbye and good luck, young prince. Carl, wait for me. Priest of Light and Wendell will tell me how to bring you back. Still my best friend. Carl, that coward is no father. He must be the reason. Mom left me behind. Is she alive? I want to see her. Kevin burned with hatred for his father and shame for the feral blood in his veins that made him deliver the final misguided blow to his only. As the Ferolian troops left the castle, the young prince was hot on their heels. He had to get to Wendell and ask the Priest of Light to bring Carl back to life.
to Ferolia. Don't resist, and we may spare you. Ferolian forces have taken the town and closed the docks. Now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when. Too many guards. Can't let Beastmen find me. But I have to go to Wendell. For Carl. Beastmen of Ferolia look like humans during the day. But at night, they transform into animals. Don't leave the house after dark. You hear? Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Once the beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. Good luck. Wait for night. Sleep at the inn until then. Just wish our guards weren't the ones causing trouble. Close one. Close one.